our postmodern world, everything is characterized by pastiche. Pastiche is the imitation of an artistic work that's been done in the past but passed off as new. This is usually done as a sort of tribute without the mention of the original work it was derived from. Audiences watch pastiche all the time without even noticing that it is pastiche. Pastiche can be found throughout our culture in the form of art, fashion, advertising, music, and film. Part of the postmodern aesthetic is to combine multiple elements of culture and to create something new. According to IndieWire, 75% of Hollywood's top-grossing films today are sequels, adaptations, reboots, or remakes. Mm -hmm. You come here unannounced on the day my daughter is to be married. Well, actually, we were brought here against our will, so... <laughs> You said you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married and you ask me to do murder. Money. Many people today argue that Hollywood films today have lost their originality due to their heavy pastiche. And while it is true that a majority of films today are derived from previously sourced works, this does not mean that these works are not original. The combination of pastiche of various sources essentially creates something that's distinctly different from the work it originally drew from, something new and original. A majority of Hollywood films today use pastiche, including Pirates of the Caribbean, Zootopia, Star Wars, Elf, La La Land, just to name a few. I will continue to talk about George Lucas's Star Wars, a film that uses pastiche but is still very original. Star Wars is an amalgamation of various works that Lucas very much respected. This includes, but is not limited to, The Wizard of Oz, The Searchers, Flash Gordon space serials, Joseph Campbell's comparative mythology, and of course Kurosawa's The Hidden Fortress. Lucas successfully combines these elements of each of these to create a unique and new film. The film bears a plethora of similarities to Star Wars when it comes to aesthetic and narrative contents of the film. Star Wars takes the Hidden Fortress's basic plot of an imperial power being disturbed by an external force. In addition, both films involve a strong independent princess going on a journey with a legendary warrior. In Hidden Fortress, Princess Yuki must return to what's left of her homeland, and likewise in Star Wars, Princess Leia must also make her way back to the rebel base. Also note the aesthetic similarities of the desert scenes of Star Wars compared to that of Hidden Fortress. In the journey to return home, both princesses are protected by a samurai warrior and Jedi warrior respectively. The journey to return home is accompanied by numerous fighting scenes. The lightsaber fighting scenes in Star Wars resemble that of the fighting scenes in Hidden Fortress. Also, fun fact, Lucas took the name Jedi from the Japanese term Jediaki, which is the term used for Japanese traditional sword fighting films. As I mentioned before, pastiche blurs the lines of combining elements of low and high culture. In Star Wars, for example, Lucas uses the influence of space serials, which are considered low culture, and mixes it with the high culture of Joseph Campbell's mythology. Another film worth mentioning is Woody Allen's 1994 film, Bullets Over Broadway, which can be categorized as a gangster comedy and also uses elements of both comedy and musical. The film centers on a Broadway musical in the affluent New York City neighborhood and incorporates the involvement of corrupt Italian gangsters into the making of a Broadway show. Once again, this combines low and high culture. It uses pastiche of many films, most notably Sunset Boulevard and Singing in the Rain, with the use of very similar characters. Alan creates a brand new world that combines multiple elements of genre and past films, giving it this twist. There are many reasons as to why films today use pastiche and why it continues to be successful. People feel comfortable and even prefer watching the same stories over and over again. Pastiche instills a sense of nostalgia for the past while also having an appeal to a wide audience. 
report in. Red 10 standing by. Red 7 standing by. Red 3 standing by. Red 6 standing by. Red 9 standing by. Red 2 standing by. Red 11 standing by. Red 5 standing by. Ray leader, take down the house! The next film I'm going to talk about is La La Land. La La Land references a plethora of classical Hollywood musicals with a postmodern twist as it is set in modern day Los Angeles. The musical sequences of the film strongly resemble that of Singing in the Rain and Funny Face. Some references are easier to catch than others. La La Land takes an old style and seamlessly transforms it through the crisp modern day technology. The wardrobe is strictly based off of the wardrobe of classical Hollywood musicals of the 1940s with vibrant colors. The dance numbers are also very similar to that of Hollywood classical musicals. However, the backdrop is the restless, crowded, modern-day LA. The 1940s vibe is contrasted with the heavy LA traffic vibe, which further generates a sense of nostalgia to a time before all this rush existed. La La Land has beautiful cinematography and utilizes some amazing steady cam shots. The film is original as it takes something based off of past works and transforms it into something that technology of the past was not capable of doing. La La Land is the epitome of a classical Hollywood film that was made in the style of Hollywood today. That being said, Hollywood films are unique and distinct to the postmodern style. The postmodern style has an originality as it mimics the styles of past works and adjusts it to fit the standards of today's culture. It appeals to a wide range of audiences, some who may watch a movie and understand the references to other works. Others, however, may watch it for pure enjoyment without knowing that it was derived from previous other works. Pastiche allows the newer generation to reflect back on the works of the past, but it is also updated to fit the modern culture, cause who says that a good idea can't be done more than once? So the next time you watch a movie, I challenge you to locate pastiche.